I'd like to do a comparison real quick between Navian's Plum Easy Valve Set and the Webstone Isolator EXP E2 valve set. These are for tankless water heaters. Uh, I ordered the Webstone specifically for an install. Uh, I stock the Navian, which is made by Watts. Watts Company makes Navian's valve. Uh, if you don't believe me, there's Watts's logo stamped or forged into the brass right there, that W above the 600 WGOG. Okay, uh, first look, let's look at the cold um, because it's very simple. The, na the Watts valve is roughly, oh, I don't know, quarter inch shorter. Same configuration as the Webstone. This is the Webstone on the left. So you can see signified by the blue handle on the drain or flush valve, this is the cold side. Union fitting on the top with a rubber gasket seal. The Watts is a serviceable valve, as you can see the seam right there, although I don't know where you would find that replacement valve. Uh, handles in blue to signify the blue side. Larger, uh, significantly larger union nut with a O-ring seal. Okay, so there you go, that's cold side. Hot side, um, Nat, or Watts ships the uh, relief valve in a box separate in the packaging, as you can see there. And uh, Webstone does also, I've threaded it in here just to show you the difference. Um, the relief valve on the Watts or slash Navian Plum Easy valve threads into that three quarter inch port there. You've got your red handle to signify, signify the hot side and a O-ring seal on a union nut. Okay. Now when I set these side by side, as you can see, a couple different things I'd take note of. Uh, if you're installing in tight spaces and underneath tankless water heaters, they always are in tight spaces in my opinion. The hot valve on the Webstone EXPE2 service kit is significantly shorter. So if you have a very tight spot, this valve will fit a little bit, take up less space. Also, take note, the relief valve is directly below the drain valve on the Watts slash Navian Plum Easy kit. Um, that can be less than optimal in, again, in tight spaces, uh, especially when you're dealing with a cirque line next to it. Here's the cirque, um, and then your gas in front on the Navian. This is where your hot valve would be. As you can see, that, produce, that presents a few problems in configuring this valve so that you have access to the drain and also access to the relief valve without running into your gas, your gas line. Okay, now if I hold the Webstone up, if you position the valve like so, you may be able to avoid your gas line completely, have access to your drain, still be able to operate the valve handle. Um, that would be about the only configuration you could put this in. So uh, just a couple notes, difference between the, the two valve sets, significantly different on the hot side. Cold side is basically identical. Uh, they both have union connections. These happen to be the threaded models. My supplier does not stock anything but the threaded models. Um, I have requested many times that they stock the press models, but until I can get them to do that, I have to thread in adapters, either copper press, copper sweat, or PEX. In my case, almost every single time it's copper press. Hope this helps.